He said, be unmovable. Not was nothing should move you. I remember when we started in New York, people say all kinds of things. Oh, you guys are not going to make it. Oh, a, a woman, <laughs> I wish you should have seen me now. She told me, she said, ah, do you know you're from Africa? I told her, I said, I'm not, a, I am from Africa. He said, you know, said, do you know you're an African pastor? I said, no, I'm not an African pastor. I'm a pastor that's from Africa. Amen. That's the difference. He said, hi, but you pastor an African church. I said, no, I pastor a church that have African in it. Are you mean? He was trying to put me in the labor to fit uh, their own ideology. I said, are you sure you guys don't succeed? There are many churches. I said, woman, I said, sorry, ma. I said, but I, we don't come here to compete. We come here to complete. Amen. Yes. He said, yeah, complete in him. Who is the head of all principalities? Are you with me here? Let me tell you, if you listen to people, if you listen to what people say, you easily be discouraged. Yes, sir. You remember what, what Peter said to Jesus? When Jesus said to Peter in Matthew 18, he said that, ah, I'm going to die. I'm going to go to Jerusalem to die. And Peter said, no, 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 no. Master, don't even try. Don't, don't, do, don't, do, don't do it. Don't do it. And Jesus said, I know you are very enthusiastic. Get me behind me, Satan. He said, you don't like things that be of God, but things that be of men. Are you with me? Even sometimes the people that try to discourage you, sometimes actually they mean well. Are you with me? They mean well. Ah, they actually telling you what their experiences are. Hallelujah. But your experience is not my experience. Hallelujah. Praise God. Your experience might not be my experience. What you experience might not be, may not be what I will experience. So why don't you let me be and let, let, let me try and do what God has called me to do. That's why kids, every time you see kids, they're always smiling. They're always happy. Because kids, so to kids, there is no impossibility. Are you with me? To kids, everything is possible. That's the way your life was. You used to believe that God can do all things. But we got to a point, we let circumstances dictate the way we believe. You said to yourself, I, instead of speaking from the platform of faith, you begin to speak from the platform of logic. Ah, uh, when yes, God says, I'm going to give you a million dollars, it's ah, uh, God, uh, first of all, uh, my job is only, I made $20 an hour, and I only work 30 hours a week. And uh, sometimes, Sometimes, maybe 20 hours or 15 hours. How am I going to get a million dollars? When God said, I'm going to give you a million dollars, I was not looking at your job. Yes, sir. <laughs> Philippians 4.19, he said, by God we supply all your needs according to his riches and glory. It's not according to the economy of any nation. Are you with me? We limit God with our thinking. That's why I said it many times here at this church by God's grace, where God is going to take us is big. This is going to be my office. Amen. 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 This is going to be my office. This is my office. Are you with me? If God can create the universe in six days, you think he cannot give you 60 million? Are you with me? We limit God in our thinking. Like I said to us many times, if, if something was work, if what you're believing for must come to pass, your faith must leave your head and enter your heart. There is no impossibility. Are you with me? Everything is possible. Believe that God can do all things.